How's it going guys? Uh, welcome to this comparison. This is not going to be like a full review or anything like that because pretty much these two phones are identical in many ways. So, however, there are differences and that's what I want to show you during this video. We're going to talk about what's different between the Edge and the Edge Plus. I can tell you right now, this is by far my favorite comparison from all time. I'm absolutely in love with these uh, two phones. And I think they are by far my favorite phones from all time. So at the end of this uh, comparison, I want to tell you guys uh, which phone I will choose if I have to use it as my daily driver. So this is a comparison here between the Edge and the Edge Plus. Let's go ahead and start right now. Okay, amigos, and uh, we're gonna take a look at these uh, two phones. This is my favorite comparison from all times. I'm actually very in love, <laughs> absolutely love these two phones. Uh, my favorite phones by far. Uh, but just uh, to mention some of the specs, uh, of course, uh, later we're gonna get into the uh, differences between one and the other. So as far as the display, they both offer Super AMOLED display, uh, 5.1 inches on the uh, Edge versus 5.7 on the uh, Edge Plus. Uh, they both have the uh, same uh, resolution 1440 by 2560 however the edge has more pixel density with 577 uh, versus on the uh, edge plus 518. now it's gonna be really impossible to see the differences but yeah we have to give it to the s6 edge with more pixels as far as the operating system, same operating system, Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. As far as the processors, uh, they actually have the same processor of the core. Uh, they have a quad core 1.5 GHz and a quad core 2.1 GHz, identical processors. Now, when it comes to the uh, internal storage, you know, this is a little bit different here. And this is why a lot of people are disappointed with the uh, Edge Plus and the uh, Note 5. The Edge Plus only comes in 32 or 64 GB of uh, internal storage uh, versus the uh, Edge offers 32, 64 or up to 128 GB. Uh, when it comes to the RAM, the uh, Edge offers 3 GB of RAM versus 4 GB of RAM on the Edge Plus. Um, cameras, they are super nice. As you guys can see, I was uh, actually playing with these phones uh, with the tripod, using them as my main camera to record the videos. They are very, very comfortable uh, when it comes to taking picture videos uh, using them with a tripod. Uh, but I noticed that, you know, with the uh, Edge Plus, it's, of course, it's always nicer to have a bigger screen if you're gonna be taking pictures or videos and also using the phone as your uh, main camera. Now, as far as uh, the battery, uh, on the uh, Edge, we have a 2,600 milliamp battery versus 3,000 milliamp battery on the Edge Plus. Uh, both phones have not removable batteries. So, you know, that's one complaint that people have and as you guys can see, the cases that we have on the are super, super nice. Uh, on the uh, Edge Plus, we have the Verus uh, Pro Shield. And on the uh, Edge, we have the uh, Spigen uh, Neo Hybrid. And that's one of the things that I like about these phones uh, because of the shape, the Edge. Uh, it doesn't matter what case you use, they are still really, really thin. Now here comes the uh, differences, guys. So we're gonna take a look at what's the uh, difference between one and the other. Uh, the first thing here is the uh, Edge screen. So as you guys can see uh, on the uh, Edge screen, on the uh, Galaxy Edge, uh, we only get the, the option to access to favorite people. Uh, really easy, uh, really, uh, useful application that you know with one swipe you get right there five different contacts uh, and then you can just tap on the picture and get access to uh, text call uh, email you know whatever actions you want to do depending on how you store the information uh, within that particular contact however on the uh, edge plus uh, we, only, we also get a different feature, which is also adding 
uh, five favorite apps, or I believe it's six, no, five. Uh, so you, only, you also get uh, the contacts, but you also get the apps. And as you guys can see, you can remove the apps if you don't like it. Same thing with the contact by just uh, hard pressing on uh, whatever you want to delete, drag it and delete it. So that's an advantage of the of the uh, Edge Plus versus the Edge uh, that it offers also the access to five different uh, favorite apps. Now also uh, within the uh, Edge uh, feature, when you swipe uh, on the Edge, it takes you to the main settings of the application. Uh, on the uh, the Edge Plus, I'm sorry, it takes you to the main settings on the Edge. It doesn't really take you there just gives you the option to uh, personalize your access to your uh, favorite people. But if you want to get access to the main settings of the uh, Edge feature, you actually have to click on the settings, swipe down from the top of the phone and get access to the settings. Now, looking at this, uh, we also see that you get the option to change the position to access the Edge feature. Uh, on the Edge, you can change it between left or right. Uh, however, here's another difference on the Edge Plus. Uh, not only you can change the position of the axis, either left or right, but you can also change the position uh, if you want to move the uh, axis to the bottom of the screen, uh, in the middle of the screen, or even on the top of the screen. So that's an advantage. I wish uh, that was available on the uh, Edge, uh, but it's not. So uh, that's one of the differences. Uh, another thing, guys, uh, it's uh, the IR Blaster. Uh, the uh, S6 Edge offers the IR Blaster. The Edge Plus doesn't offer the IR Blaster. I know for a lot of people, this is not like a, a breaking breaker deal or whatever. Uh, for me, I really, really love the uh, IR Blaster. This is something that I use all the time. And I'm gonna show you guys here quick how to set this up and do a quick demonstration. So basically you start by uh, selecting your uh, provider. Uh, the application asks you, you know, your uh, gender and your age and all that. And then uh, basically you set up first uh, the TV. Uh, you select the brand of your TV and uh, do a first test to make sure that the TV turns on. And once it turns on, you're gonna select your cable provider company after you select that, you're gonna select the uh, bright name of your cable box. And after you do that, you are ready to go. We're gonna turn on the TV here in a moment. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration for you guys uh, how to change uh, the volume or uh, turn off the volume up and down or change the channels. But this is like really, really cool for me. Uh, the technology, it's there. And you know, these days, you want to do everything with your phone. So if, if you know, you can even change and control your TV with your phone, why not? Why not? So for that, I have to say I'm disappointed that they didn't add that feature to the uh, Edge Plus or the Note 5. I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, you know, that's not a big deal. Uh, you know, I can use, use my control uh, that I have for my TV. Yeah, I agree that. I agree and I understand that. But, you know, why not? taking advantage and doing it with your phone if you can. Now, the other difference here, like I mentioned it before, the uh, Edge has uh, more mega uh, PPI uh, or pixel density, I'm sorry, uh, with 577. Uh, when it comes to uh, real life and daily uh, usage, you're not really gonna notice uh, the difference, but as you guys can see, both are amazing displays uh, with the Super AMOLED technology very very bright everything looks super clear uh, super nice a uh, high definition so uh, that's one another difference right there uh, when it comes to the uh, PPI or pixel density now the other difference guys is uh, the uh, camera uh, the, the interface in general it looks the same but when you click on mode you're gonna notice that on the uh, Edge Plus, and also this is something that it's included on the Note 5, uh, you get the option to uh, do live broadcast. 
So basically you can uh, start recording videos and broadcast the video as you are recording it uh, on YouTube live. Uh, that's not an option uh, on the uh, interface or the uh, mode for the uh, edge. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that can be added later on uh, with an update or something like that, uh, but it's not an option. Uh, I think this is a, this is something that a lot of people can take advantage of, uh, but well, it's not there. Uh, but everything else is the same as far as the camera, both phones take amazing pictures. And speaking of the display and the resolution, PPI and pixel density, take a look at here how clear these uh, 1080p videos uh, looks like. So both displays are absolutely amazing. All right, guys, uh, time to tell you which phone do I choose. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm actually, you know, really in love with these two phones. I think they are the best by far, the best displays, uh, the best cameras, the best uh, processor and all that. Um, I have to say that I really like the uh, IR Blaster feature on the Edge that we don't have on the Edge Plus. And for everyday usage, I, I find this size easier to handle, easier to carry with you. I can I can do pretty much everything with one hand with this phone. I can put this in my pocket with no problem. I can reach to a notification from the top, text, answer, emails, whatever. Uh, for everyday usage, I find this size more comfortable. But I will tell you this though, I will totally have this phone as a backup and, I, and the reason why I will choose this phone over this one is when I'm going to be taking a lot of videos and pictures, say maybe I'm going on vacation or something like that, you can totally take advantage of a bigger screen when it comes to uh, taking pictures and videos and all that. So I will actually shoot both, uh, but I will use this one as my daily driver because of the size. So if you are looking at getting one of these two phones right now, uh, I think it, it comes down to uh, the size. It really comes down to the size. Don't worry about performance. Don't worry about screen resolution or cameras. Uh, you're gonna get pretty much the same. Both are amazing, but it comes it comes down to the size. You know, if you have small hands, go with the Edge. If you have bigger hands and you don't mind the bigger size, go with the Edge Plus. You're gonna love them. Love either or this uh, one or the other. And as you guys can see, with these uh, really nice uh, thin cases, it doesn't matter if you have a case on the phone, it's still super, super thin. So guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more, check this video to help others. And if you have any of these phones, congratulations to you. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.